Hey guys, so Drivix here with Montage Effect, episode 3. Um, we're going to be using Cinema 4D. I'm using R13. You guys could use R12 or R11. It's mainly the same. So the first thing you want to do is we're going to look at 3D work for your promo or, or intro. So first you want to create a background if I can find it. I'm new to this. It's not over here. Right here. So create a background. And uh, just double click right here. It'll create a new material. Go to texture and load image. You need to take a picture in uh, Sony Vegas. There'll be a link in the description on how to do that. It's very simple. It takes two seconds. So I'll just use Trail Park 1. And you'll drag it onto the background. So then there's a picture. But now you want to add a floor. And you want to make it look like the floor is actually there. Like matching the floor. So you want to get a picture with the floor. So if, if you can't see it, press control and hit the background. And then get the texture and drag it up on the other one. But if you uh, render it out, it's a little dark and there's a line right here. So we got to fix that. By right clicking, go to Cinema 4D Tags, Compositing, Compositing Background, and then just add a light. I'm good. So if I render it out now, it should be good, yeah. So now we gotta level it up a little bit to make it look realistic. So that's around good. And then what you want to do is you want to add a text. So we'll just go to MoGraph and find Mo Text. And if you drag it down, just find a good place to put it. So as you notice, kind of half the text. So you got to find a good place. So right here. So if I render it out, it doesn't look too realistic. So what you want to do is add a light, if I can find it. Alright, so once you got your light, just drag it up to a good place that you think is good and just go to shadow go to make sure shadow map soft is on and then if you render it out it's a it looks a bit more realistic and now you want to add a little bit of gloss to the text to the text so just choose your color I'll use gray and go to reflection texture for now put the Blurriness to around 40 and the mix strength to around 35. And to make it more glossy, you can just pull this up. But I'm just going to use it a little bit right there. So that's good. And then drag it onto the mo text. And then it looks more realistic than it would. So, yeah, that's about it. You can also make a video. So, if I go to the last frame and I would put it to the bottom, I would add a keyframe, go to the very end, or wherever you want it to appear. Uh, just hold the middle and put a keyframe and make it come up to where I want it. And then that's your video, and you can make it come down if you'd like. So if I show you it at 90 frames, yeah, that looks okay. Not that great, though. You might want to add color correction or something else. So thank you for watching. Subscribe, comment, and bye.